Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, we are going to be doing um, another Elite Code 75 study plan problem. Uh, today's problem is called Longest Zigzag Path in a Binary Tree. So uh, for the instructions, it says you are given the root of a binary tree. A zigzag path for a binary tree is defined as follow. Uh, choose any node in the binary tree in a direction, right or left. If the current direction is right, move the ch right child of the current node. Otherwise, move, the, move to the left child. Change the direction from right to left or from left to right. Repeat the second or third steps until you can't move in the tree. Zigzag length is defined as the number of nodes visited. A single node has a length of zero. Return the longest zigzag path contained in that tree. Okay, so... Um, Basically, yeah, we're just looking for, um, it's pretty straightforward, zigzag. So in this case, right here, we have uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, but since uh, a single node has a length of zero, um, we're going to actually count this as three. So I guess we're counting it as zero, one, two, and three. Um, so we're returning three. Um, so uh, before we dive into the code, uh, let's just quickly understand the strategy that we want to employ to solve this problem. So our goal is to find the longest zigzag path in the binary tree. To do this, we're going to adopt a recursive approach, diving deep into the tree from the root, exploring all possible zigzag paths starting from each node, and keeping track of the maximum length that we've seen so far. So we'll initiate our recursive function from the root node with two separate paths, one going left and the other going right. As we proceed, we'll be switching directions at each level to comply with the zigzag path rule. So let's go ahead and get to the implementation. All right, so we're gonna start with the longest zigzag method and we're gonna check if our root is null. So um, in order to do that, let's just set up a conditional statement. So if root is equal to null, then we're gonna return zero. Okay, and then, um, like I said earlier, right, we're gonna have a left and a right path that we're gonna check to, for the uh, for the longest zigzag path. So um, we're gonna set those up as ints for right now. Left path, and then int right path. And I'm not gonna actually uh, call the helper function yet because we don't we don't we haven't established that yet. Uh, so we'll do that at the end of the problem, but. For right now, we're gonna return the maximum of uh, the left or the right path. So um, let's do that now. So this is kind of just setting setting ourselves up for later in the problem. Uh, the real uh, meat and potatoes of the problem is within the helper function. So um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll do private and then we're gonna return int, right? Which is gonna be the, the number of zigzags, right? Um, and we can just call this helper. All right, so what we're going to want to pass in is um, our node, and we're going to be calling this recursively, so uh, we're just going to call this node, and then our current count, because we're going to need a way to keep track of the number of zigzags so far, and then a uh, Boolean value, and we can call this is left. So um, basically, this is going to uh, help keep track of which direction the zigzag path is going in um, that we're counting. Okay, so um, the first thing that we want to do is check if the node is null. So if node, node equals null, we're going to return the current count minus one. Okay, and then um, we, we want to add minus one because we want to subtract the count of the, of the node null. Our, the null node, I can't speak today. Um, all right, so then now what we want to do is, depending on the current direction, we need to change the direction and recursively call the helper function for both left and right children of that current node, but with different current counts to maintain the continuity of the zigzag path. So um, what we want to do is uh, establish two integers, uh, int left path, and int right path. Okay. And then if the current direction is left, the next direction will be right and vice versa. So 
if is left, left path equals helper node dot left and then one and then true and then right path helper node dot right current count plus one and then false okay and then else we're gonna go left path helper node dot left current count plus one true right path helper node dot right one and false and then we want to return math dot max of left path or right path okay and then now that we have the logic for our helper function basically what we want to do is call it in um, this method right here so for our left path we're going to do helper and then we're going to pass in the root dot left one and true oops and then for the right path helper root dot right one false okay so uh that should work let's go ahead and run it okay so it passed the first few test cases let's submit cool okay so we passed all the test cases um so for um the time complexity it's going to be considered uh big o of n where n is considered the number of nodes in the tree um this is because in worst in the, in the worst case we have to visit every single node of the tree and then for space complexity um it's going to be big o of h um where h is the height of the tree um this is due to the recursive stack going as deep as the height of the tree um, and technically you could consider this big O of N because if the tree is um, unbalanced, then it could be up to uh, big O of N. Um, but just for uh, clear understanding, uh, big O of H is more appropriate to, um, to label uh, for the space complexity. Uh, so there you have it, a recursive solution to the longest zigzag path in a binary tree problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did find it helpful, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more related content. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you.